So what do you think you're doing today? Um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go to the baseball game later. Can you come? Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, Hello? Hey, what's up? Nothing. What are you up to? Um, nothing. My car just broke down. Are you going to the baseball game? Uh, yeah. Me and John are gonna leave in a little bit. Do you think you could come pick me up and I could go with you? Yeah, um, we'll come in a little bit. Okay, thanks. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Who's that? My mom. I have to go home, dude. You can't go to the game? No, nah, she's making it. Alright, you wanna ride real quick? No, dude. That's fine. I'll walk home. I need to sober up anyway. Alright, well, I'm gonna pick up, sir. I got that email today from Carrie. I forwarded it to you. Uh, Providence is very, very interested in you. It's that D1 school that you were talking to. Mm -hmm. They watched your video, they want you. So you gotta respond immediately. Oh, and I gotta drop you off at the corner because I gotta rush back. Josh needs me for a meeting, so. You got all your stuff? Yeah, I just need this. I'll just run out there. Okay, I love you. I love you too. Be good. Have fun at your meeting. Love you. Are you drunk? Huh? No, I'm not your drink. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Slow down. No. What did you drink? Nothing. I didn't drink. Michael. Sarah, stop. Slow down, No, Michael. I do what I want. Don't run the stop sign. Standing in the wake of devastation, you were waiting on the edge of the unknown. Nine one one, what is your emergency? I've been in an accident. Where is the accident? Dixon High School. How many vehicles are involved? Two. Do you know how many injuries? Uh, there's four people. Help me! Someone, please! Edge 81 response for vehicle accident. Outside Dixon High School, the intersection of College and Harvard Way. Two vehicles involved. Anything in here? No. That, that hurts. Right here hurts? Yeah. Okay, sweetheart. Out of one and ten, how does this feel? Ten being the worst pain. <laughs> Nine and a half. Nine and a half? Alright. Um, who's the passenger in the vehicle? Copy five patients total. Sarah Amy? Yeah. Okay. How much you had to drink tonight? A couple? Okay. Um, do me a favor, come on over here. Have a seat over here so we're out of everyone's way, okay? Yeah. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this we're gonna flip you over, put this collar on you, we're gonna get you on this backboard, okay? okay just, okay. just your back. Okay. No.
in law enforcement custody. six inches off the ground, extend the toe out in front of you just like this. Look down at that toe, and I want you to start counting from 1,000 up to 1,030. Large, two large four IDs have already been inserted by EMS. Okay, manual On the next test, what I'd like you to do is you're going to stand with your right foot in front of your left foot. You're going to take nine steps forward and then stop, turn around. You're going to take nine steps back the exact same way. She's pretty flaccid, you guys. Are you guys seeing anything here other than sure. terrible blood pressure? These are labs going right over. Labs. I am, um, but I need this off. Alright, go tip your head back, close your eyes, and left. Right. Do you have a pulse? pulse again? No, I'm not feeling a pulse at all. Have a pulse. All right, okay, let's go ahead. Let's start CPR. Right. One last thing I'd like you to do, go turn around and face that fire truck over there. Put your hands behind your back for me. Placing you under arrest for suspicion of driving under the influence of alcohol. Let me know what's been three minutes. We can have their hand. Would that be? They need to go talk to the family. Her GCS is terrible. She has terrible blood pressure. She needs to go to the operating room. Okay. some not so great news about your daughter. She had to run up to the ICU or the OR with the surgeon and it's just not looking very good. We don't expect her, her to survive because of her injuries. So I am so sorry that I have had to give you this news. This is Christina, 17-year-old female, um, struck while crossing a crosswalk by a vehicle traveling at an unknown rate of speed. Yeah. Rest down there good bilaterally. Is anything hurt, hon? My back. Your back hurting? Great. Yeah, we need to have ortho, ortho come in. in. And as soon as we're ready, we got an IV and everything going, we're going to go ahead and turn her and look at her back. Three. Okay. Yeah. So you could you could stay by with the lights of pelvis just like this. Yeah, you could. Hey buddy, mom and sister. Hi, Hi. come on in. So we um, we did a lot of things with her and she is gonna go to the x ray right now. Hi, honey. Come on in. So we're just gonna go ahead now. We're gonna take her to the CT. She um, it looks like she might have a pelvic fracture. She definitely has a, uh, a typical fracture, fracture and some pain in her lower back. So we're going to take her to the CT and, and take a look at everything. Okay. okay, so we had spinal look at her and she does have a spine fracture. And she does have, so she is actually paralyzed from the waist down. Um, Yeah, well, you'll see 
here as soon as she's uh, in recovery and all settled in. Hello, Mr. Ford. Hi, my name is Officer Geyser with the Dixon Police Department. I'm calling about your son, Michael Ford. Yeah, he, he's okay. He was involved in a traffic collision earlier today out in front of the high school. Um, he has been placed under arrest for driving under the influence of alcohol. He's in our custody at the Dixon Police Department right now. Well, he'll be booked into the Solano County Jail here in a few minutes once we transport him down there. Yes, ma'am. All right, bye. All right, let's call the case of People versus Michael Ford. I'm saying right here. Yes. Are you Michael Ford? Do you have an attorney here to represent you? Do you have the funds to hire an attorney? Are you presently employed? Do you have any income whatsoever? No. All right, I will find you eligible for court-appointed counsel. I will appoint the public defender's office to represent you. Acknowledge receipt of the felony complaint. Waive formal reading, advisement of rights, and enter pleas of not guilty. All right, and would the people like to be heard on the issue of bail? Yes, Your Honor, we'd ask the court to set bail per schedule at $100,000. Right, what is the defense position on bail? Mr. Ford is 18 years old. He is currently scheduled to graduate high school. He's a straight A student. Um, he is also active in the community, and he has no prior record. Mr. Ford is an adult. Mr. Ford should know better. Most of your argument, Ms. Guillory, leads me to believe he should have known better. Mr. Ford, someone was killed because of your reckless behavior, and I find it necessary to protect society. I'm going to set bail in the amount of $400,000 today. All right, Mr. Clerk, this matter will be assigned to Judge Cam for all purposes. Last day for hearing will be May 11th, set for readiness conference May 4th at 10 o'clock, with a preliminary hearing May 7th at 10 o'clock, Department 7. All right, the defendant is remanded held on the bail that's been set, and that's going to conclude this matter for today. All right, Ms. and dad. I don't know what to say other than I'm sorry, but that doesn't quite seem to be enough. There's nothing I can do or say to fix what I've done. I'm extremely sorry for the families who have lost loved ones because of my stupidity. I'm sorry for the kids I have injured and killed because of my actions. In this mistake, I have killed two of my friends and seriously injured two more. It's not worth it. The chance I took, the chance many people take in drinking and driving. I disappointed myself, my family, my friends, and everyone who looks up to me. I can't even wrap my head around what I have done. I made a choice to do something I knew was dangerous and ignored what the likely outcome would be. In making this choice, I became a murderer. It makes me sick just saying it, but it's true. I've taken two lives and ruined two more, and there's nothing I can do or say to fix it. The only thing I can do is try to express how truly sorry I am, but I know it won't ever be enough, and that's an issue I'm going to have to live with for the rest of my life. <laughs>